what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a squad builder featuring a very special player, a very rare player that came out yesterday and is available to all of you guys if you want to shed some serious coinage. It is of course the player of the month Eden Hazard on FUT17. We'll get to him in a moment but we need to build the squad around him first. And in goal today I thought I would go for Kaylor Navas. Uh, the goalkeeper who plays for Real Madrid in La Liga is 85 rated this year. And, um, well, one thing I would say is that he's not as good as Oblak. He seems to let in a few dodgy goals. Um, but, of course, you find that out once you've used him for a few games. Uh, we've gone with the old faithful at left back today. Luke Shaw is definitely up there in my list of favorite left backs. Of course, Jordi Alba, uh, David Alaba, those sorts of guys are high rated. But Luke Shaw is just kind of overpowered on this game. He really is. Um, someone I've not used before, Gokan Gonul. Yeah, Turkish guy, plays for Besiktas. He was okay. His stats are quite well-rounded, actually, for a right-back. He pushes up sometimes, helps out there. And then we got two Real Madrid centre-backs to get a little bit of a triangle link with the goalkeeper, Rafael Varane, who is most definitely one of the better centre-backs on the game. And then Pepe, who's one of the higher-rated centre-backs on the game. 88 this year, the Portuguese man. 70 pace, 88 defending, and 81 physical. And he's 6'2". Not too shabby at all. A decent centre-back and a decent defence, actually, in this squad. Now, moving on to the midfield. It's going to be hard-working and it's going to be very, very solid. Uh, we've got this guy who I've seen a few people use in, like, Road to Glories and stuff, saying that he's a bit of a beast. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. Ozia Cup. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try and pronounce that first name, though. Four-star skills and weak foot. That guy scores bangers, by the way. He scored two goals, and they were both brilliant for me. I can't wait to show you them in the clips part of this video. N'Golo Kante comes into the midfield. You can use this one, the inform, the ones to watch. Whatever one you have uh, the budget for, then go for that one. And then we have Paul Pogba coming into the squad. First time really playing him at centre midfield rather than like more of an attacking role where he gets goals. And he's proper solid. Like he'll do a defensive job as well. And I didn't really didn't really expect that from him. I thought I always think of him as more of an attacking mid, but he's such a great box-to-box -box midfielder on this game. It's unreal. Ricardo Caresma in form, someone I wanted to use from this week's team of the week, and he was surprisingly cheap, under 50,000 coins for an 85 rated 5 star skiller with awesome stats such as 91 dribbling and 87 passing, fantastic pace as well, uh, assist king he was uh, to the main man, Eden Hazard, 90 rated player of the month. Now, do me a favour and ignore that goal to game ratio because people rage quit on you for having this card so goddamn often. I reckon I've played eight actual games rather than the 17 that it shows uh, on, the, on, the, on the old record there, which kind of sucks. And then same again for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I thought I would use a new legend on FIFA 17 uh, and he's a cheap one actually. 86 rated, so he's one of the lower rated. Uh, but 280k paid for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. My god! Absolutely loved him. What a great striker he is on this game. Always love legends. I tell you what, they're, they are just a cut above the rest of the players on this game. So the squad was mainly built around that front three. I wanted to see how a player from this team of the week, uh, a new legend and the newest player of the month item would do uh, in a squad. And well, it did say we had to play a lot of games, uh, 17 on their records. But as I said earlier, there's just no way... Uh, Two or three people quit out on me just from seeing my squad in the squad screen. So I didn't get to play a single minute. I had one or two people that were obviously trying to do like squad building challenges and get loyalty with players. So they would either let me go 1-0 up and then quit. and then, Or they would score an own goal and then quit. And then another couple of people would just quit after I go 1-0 up after like five minutes or something. Ridiculous. Sucks. I hate it. That's, that's what you get with online single matches though, I guess. Uh, and because I played this on Friday morning uh, or Friday during the day, it means the weekend league was on uh, and uh, I couldn't go into the FUT champions. And I haven't been playing seasons lately for some reason. Just felt like going into online singles with this one. Maybe that should teach myself a lesson uh, and continue in working on my uh, my seasons. Look at the goals that Ozyakup scores for me. I thought he was left footed after scoring this one. Absolute banger. Against Steve Mandanda, an 85-rated goalkeeper. I wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, and, uh, yeah, really like him uh, as a really cheap centre midfielder. Or you could probably play him can with the stats that he's got. Very impressed by the Turkish man who plays for Besiktas. Now, Ricardo Karezma probably did become a bit, a bit left out on that right-hand side. Because 
I really wanted to do well with Player of the Month Hazard and, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So he was going to be the one out of the three that kind of didn't score the goals as much. You know, he got like two or three, no, three goals for the club, I think. But loads of assists. The amount of time the ball would drop to him. Plays a beautiful pass through with that 87 passing. Uh, and, well, I can attest to that. It's a very, very good stat. Uh, and he does get loads and loads of assists for the club, which is fantastic, of course. Now we move on to the goals that we scored with Eden Hazard. He is a bit of a god when it comes to, like, finesse shots and those low-driven shots that I love so much. If you combine that and do a low-driven finesse, if you know what I mean, um, they go in quite a lot. I think this particular goal sums it up. Just keep it low, but finesse it. So it's got a lot more power behind it, but it still goes past the goalkeeper and, like, round him with the finesse. It works well when you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um... But yeah, like dribbling and all that sort of stuff is just fantastic on, on Eden Hazard. I want to do a player review for this guy, obviously, because he is the, the hot topic at the moment. The main thing that people are talking about. And that will go live at 6pm tonight over on the Futwiz channel. So if you want to learn more about the player of the month, uh, Eden Hazard, then of course, check that out over on the Futwiz channel. I'll leave a link in the top right corner. Uh, and then, of course, if you have missed how I managed to get hold of him, uh, there will also be a link or a card in the top right corner or an end slate at the end of this video showing you uh, how how we well, how much it cost, really, for me to submit a bunch of players and earn this guy on FIFA 17. Now, the goals we got with Solskjaer were... One, poacher goals, you know, that near post header, even though he's not big and not really, like, great at heading, he, he was good at that. I got quite a few of those little goals. Um, and then, again, poacher there, Hazard smashes the bar, Solskjaer's there to just, like, be the first one in on that, hit it before it bounces and get that ball into the back of the net. Um, but he also scored, like, one or two kind of bangers. He was... He was always on the last shoulder of the defender, all that sort of stuff. And overall, I was just very impressed for a legend that I think a lot of people have probably written off because his stats aren't, like, mega. They're pretty good, but they're not mega. Uh, and then, well, look at this goal, by the way. This guy was 1-0 uh, down, so his keeper was up in the 90th minute. I counter-attacked. I just run with Solskjaer. I held LT when I was going to shoot here to see if he would do anything fancy. But obviously, he can't do that, so he just sticks it in the back of the net. If you've enjoyed the squad today, smash a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.